Hey YouTubers, how's it going? So, we need to get this flux radio on the, on the internet, on the network, before we can use it. So, I don't have Ethernet up to the shack. Many of you probably don't either. So, on one of my other videos, I asked, uh, uh, I forget his name, from Flex Radio, what could be done about that? And he said, you can use a Wi-Fi range extender. And that's what I'm showing here is, this is a $39 uh, range extender. It's good for 300 megabits. And he said that 100 would do. And so, um, I bought this unit. It's got a uh, S-meter of sorts on the side. And it's also good for Windows 8, so making it fairly modern. And I imagine with Windows 10 coming out shortly, it will most likely work with that too. So, here's the actual device. I've opened the box already, and here's what it looks like. This is the one I bought. Reason being is... It's got an actual Ethernet jack, an RJ45 or whatever they're called, jack. And that's what needs to plug into the flex. So I'll have a um, cable going from there to there. And yet, um, and that should work. I'm actually going to sh uh, have a bit of a surprise in this video and show you uh, a trick I have up my sleeve as well for this. So anyway, to get this thing going, you can't just um, cable it to the flex, plug it in, and expect things to work. The reason being is um, this needs to get an IP address from a DHCP server, which is usually your router. So, to set that up, I'm going to need to hook this up to a computer first, identify the network, the wireless network that I intend to connect to, put in the password. Once it's all connected over wireless with this thing, then we disconnect it from the computer and we put it connected to the flex. And then you should be good to go. So let's um, show how that's done on the computer. And uh, um, so next step is it will be coming right up. So what you need to do then is go into your computer management, your device manager. And what you want to do is disable the wireless that you have. So I've already disabled that, you, but as indicated by that little down arrow there. And you want to enable your um, Ethernet. So that's the opposite of what I had before. I was running this laptop wirelessly. So now that it is connected to the wired network and it is plugged into the TP-Link, what uh, you want to do next then is bring up a web browser. and enter in tplinkextender.net that is a specific address for this device admin username admin password now if you have a different device this is this part is going to be completely different but um, the theory is all the same so this web page comes up from the actual device itself. I'm not on any network yet. Uh, region Canada. So now the Wi-Fi extender is looking for my actual wireless network from my router. So, um, there are a few devices here. This is um, my wireless router, so I will click that 
And uh, next. And it wants a password. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll just skip this part. I don't want to uh, type in my password on the video here. Uh, it doesn't look like it masks it. So I'll be right back. And so now it is connecting. So once this is done, we can um, disconnect the TP-Link from my computer and plug the uh, flux radio into it and just plug it in and it should retain the settings. Completed. So we turn the flux radio back on and there it is. It has gone solid green and now we come over to laptop and launch power SDR and look there is the radio. It is available. Connect. And we're up and running. That's it. Wirelessly.